Hi YouTube, my name is Ruben from Order Mentor and welcome to my first YouTube series, yeah? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, a bid in any software you may have, whether it's in PC or Mac, um, like Logic Pro, like Ableton Studio One, even if it's GarageBand. Well, it's all in the same concept, yeah? So right now, you can see on my screen, I have Logic Pro loaded up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a few software instruments, right? I'm going to go into a few bits today um, from rock bits, dance bits, bossa nova, and even dubstep. Yeah. So I'm going to load up the drum right now. So I go to drum kits, and there you go. I have my drum kits loaded up. All right. Um, before you make beats, you should know that uh, some music notations here. Well, we have like the one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. And usually beats fall inside a bar, yeah? And right now you can see that it's 4 slash 4, meaning I have 4 bits in a bar, which is this column right here, okay? Of course, I can change it to different, well, different counts where I have 5 bits in a bar, and that would be, you know, if you want to do that, yeah? But most music, most commonly, are usually 4-4, four, four, okay? Alright, so to start recording your beats right now, all you need to do is just to load up the metronome to have that click when you're recording. So it'll be on time, alright? So make sure that's on and I'm going to show you how to make a rock beat right now. Okay, rock beat is something very fam very familiar, something you'll be familiar with. Um, something like that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Alright, if you notice, I only play the kicks and the snare, yeah? Well, I can do that. I can do the hi-hats in a later stage, which I'm going to do right now. Alright, so after doing all this, after recording, you will want to quantize your drums, your beats, into the correct, you know, counts, yeah? So what is quantize? Well, a very fast, quick tip is before I quantize these things, let me just show you uh, what happens if I don't quantize these things. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off right now. You can see that I'm human and what happens is my clicks aren't on time. Yeah, So upon quantizing these things, the, the data right here, it'll all jump into place. Okay. Alright, not sounding at the best, but it works, yeah? It's a basic rock beat. Right. I'm going to go into a dance beat right now. You might know dance beat as uh, pop music, which use a lot of dance influence, uh, which originate from disco, yeah? So the, I'll have a lot of drum kits right here. So I'm going to choose an electronic kit. Like for example, let me choose something like the dance kit, yeah? Alright. Not a very nice drum kit. Uh, I don't really like how it sounds, but I'm going to show you how to make a beat with this one, yeah? So, just hit record and I'm going to record it down. Alright, so a dance kit is normally, well, a dance rhythm is normally 4 on 4, where they have their kicks on 4, yeah? So I'm going to quantize this. And I'm now going to add the snare. Alright, and then I'm going to add the hi-hats, okay? Alright, so I'm sure you can do much better than what I'm doing right here, but I'm showing you a very general basic of how you actually do things around. So upon quantization, you see it all clicks into place, yeah? And if you want to loop it, you can also loop it as far as you want, okay? And this is the same in any other software. Alright, let's go on to another bit. We're going to show you how to do a bossa nova bit. Okay. So I'm going to load, let's say, a pop kit. Okay. And let's record it down. <laughs> I 
I actually played, you know, I overshot that what I'm supposed to record. So I'm going to delete this part here. All right, so I'm going to quantize that. And now I'm going to add in the hi-hats, okay? All right, so, so far so good. I'm going to add in now the rim shot, yeah? Okay, so you get an idea of how we make beats in software like this, yeah? Of course, first of all, we need to know how to make um, how this rhythm goes, like uh, bossa nova rhythms and so on and so forth, yeah? You need to know how a dance rhythm would go and... Well, let's go on to the next one right now. So if you're interested in dubstep, well, let me show you how to make a dubstep beat. A dubstep beat is normally syncopated um, and a bit different from dance rhythms, yeah? So let's get something electronic. Let's say the electronic kit. Okay, I don't really know how it sounds here, but let's just simply choose one right now. And I'm sure you can do much better like the Roland TR3. Let's see that if this works. Alright, so a dubstep bit goes something like that. And dubstep are normally faster in tempo, so we're going to choose and change this to 140. Alright, that's the normal tempo for dubstep pieces. Okay, so here I go. Right, sorry about this thing blocking your view. Okay, so this is a basic dubstep kind of uh, rhythm. I'm going to quantize it to one, eight, eight notes. All right, I'm going to end in a hi hat. All right, so you can go and do different rhythms over there. What I'm showing you here is only um, the generic rhythms, yeah? One eight, sorry for that. Okay. My hi-hats are in 16 notes, so I'm going to quantize that to 16, all right? All right, so I'm sure you can do a bit better than me um, using, you know, taking into account what sounds you're using and choosing the best sounds from your kit or adding from samples from outside sources, yeah? I'm sure you can do much better. All I'm showing you again here is generic and a basic to making beats on your software. And what happens is you can loop this further and keep it playing and add in more, you know, more beats right here, more percussions right there. All right, and this is how you make, basically this is how you make beats. But making beats is not all to music production, yeah? Well, you need to add in stuff like um, the bass, you can add in stuff like the chords, well, the rhythm, and lots of lots of things you can add in the sound effects, yeah? So beats is not everything, yeah? You need to add bass and all that, and by doing that, you can play it down, or you can also choose it from loops. Yeah. So for example, let me just drag a electronic bass and see whether it works with my well dubstep beat right here. Okay, so let's just choose one, revenue into our tempo. So I'm gonna search by tempo uh very simply right now. Alright, let's see if this works. Yeah, I'm gonna drag this and drag this right here. I doubt it might work, but let's just try, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think it works in a way, yeah? So, so, this is how you make a beat, and I hope you learned something from this video, yeah? I'll be out with video every week, preferably on Wednesday or Thursday, so do subscribe and check in for more tutorials on music production. Thanks.